hey guys hope you all are doing well and this is me once again on the youtube channel so guys the thing is uh, they are not going to announce a unique slant to four talent scholarship as they announced before uh, the thing is they are going to change the whole procedure to apply for unique slant to four talent scholarship the whole selection procedure and uh, the whole the whole thing so the first question is uh, about the last the, the student who applied for unique slant to four talent scholarship last year and they got the scholarship but they didn't got the visa most of the applicants last year they are from Pakistan and they got the scholarship and they didn't got the visa because they didn't got the appointment. So it's not the problem from university and, and also not the problem from the students. And so that's why they defer the student for uh, for the whole year and this year they are going to uh, start their studies. And if you are that student who got the scholarship last year and you didn't got the appointment last year. So the procedure for you guys is like university will issue you the offer letter and then you have to apply for pre-enrollment the pre-enrollment will open in like a couple of days or maybe in, in a week or two weeks so in like five to ten days so the thing is you have to apply for pre-enrollment and university will forward your pre-enrollment summary to the to the to your embassy and you have to deal with all your your things and if you are an applicant and second thing is that if you are an applicant for the university to four talent scholarship this year so you have to deal with all of your visas <laughs> visas thing because it's like it's not an uh, like a small thing it's a it's a very very big problem and you have to deal with your your problem with your own so when i got the scholarship the thing is university helps the student uh the university to four talent uh, scholarship holders uh, with their visa process because it's the part of the benefit that university provide in this scholarship that uh, is the university that will in help the student in, to, in their integration into the university but last year they realized it's not an easy thing because last year what happened in uh, Italian embassy in Islamabad they changed the, the investor the Italian investor were changed and the new one is not uh, uh, the new one were, were not listening the the, the university the universities uh, are 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 asking them to do things and he he's not listening to them so that's why university is uh taking aside from this 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 problem and that's why they are changing the whole procedure for university to photo and scholarship so what they are going to do they are going to change the whole process and this time if you are an applicant or an aspirant uh looking to apply for university to photo and scholarship then you just have to apply for the admission on self finance basis as you do in all the all the universities in Italy. You just have to apply for the admission. First call is already closed and they already issue the, the admission letter to the students. So if you are from if you already have the offer letter then you just have to apply for pre enrollment and then for a visa. If you got the visa then you have after coming uh, after coming here then okay this okay we'll talk about it later. Okay, if you don't have the, the admission letter yet, then they are going to open the second call. For I'm talking the whole thing about master degree because Unicelant Four Talent Scholarship is, is for the master's program. And the master they offer, uh, I think the four or maybe five degrees. One that I'm doing, coastal and marine biology. Second is uh, aero, aerospace engineering. Third is telecommunication, then material engineering and management engineering. So these are five, five programs and there are uh, five seats for each program so overall it's 25 seats so what they are going to do they will open a second call on for, for non-eu applicants from all over the world so you just have to apply in that call then the, uh, you have to clear the interview then the university will issue you the offer letter and then you have to apply for pre-enrollment and do the whole visa process by your own and then if you got your visa then you have to uh, uh, and if you end up in university or by your own then university uh, sorry your department in the department uh, if you are in engineering department or in my department because the whole four programs are from engineering department and my department is different so your department will refer your name for Uniceland to Fort Allen scholarship for this session for for 2024 session that is going to start in September this year so if you are an aspirant or uh, looking for the dates or you just want to apply for Unicelan to Fort Allen scholarship then this is the new thing that they are going to do this year because usually last time they announced the Unicelan to Fort Allen scholarship in Feb and now it's like 
middle of March and they are not announced yet. So I discussed this thing with uh, with them and they told me they are going to hold, do the whole shift with, with this thing. But they are going to announce the admission, the second call um, for, for, for non-EU students. So you just have to apply in that call, clear the whole thing and then after coming here, uh, if you end up here in university, hopefully, then you know uh, your department will refer your name for Unicentral to Fort and Scotch. Maybe they, they scrutinize the students. I don't know. Maybe they, they will they will go for an interview or not. Who knows? But the thing is, is the whole is the is the is your department's responsibility that after uh, starting the session they will refer your name and then uh, if they refer your name and you got the Unicentral to Fort and scholarship. Then there is also another another thing they are going to do this year because when I came here, uh, then when I came here we we don't got the we don't have living allowance. We the university will provide us university provided us the the, the accommodation that I'm I'm still in. So this is my room. So the thing is, uh, they provided us the accommodation, but the student who got the scholarship last year, university didn't provide them accommodation. University give gave them the living allowance. So, but this year they are not going to provide that kind of things, that kind of benefits. So, university just provide the, the university fee exemption, the tuition fee and the enrollment fee, etc. So, that's, that's the thing. So, if you are still want to apply for Unicelland to Fort Tennis Scholarship and looking for uh, for the news about Unicelland to Fort Tennis Scholarship, this, this is the whole thing I, I, I just want to share with, with you guys. So, you just have to apply for admission and then uh, if you got the admission, you have to apply for visa. If you got the visa, then and you end up in university, then university will refer your name. Your department refer will refer your name as uh, Unicelento for talent applicant. And then if you are selected, then uh, you don't have to pay any fee to the university. And along with that, you can also apply for for other benefits also. So that's the thing. That's the whole story. So if you want, if you still want to apply for Unicelento for talent scholarship, then yeah, this is what is. It's, it's, it's a really nice evening from our hostel so yeah that's me from my university accommodation and we are also going to going to leave the university accommodation in august this year so let's see let's see what will happen and uh, stay updated i will share the more news if i got uh, about Unicelento for Talent Scholarship or, or, or other things also. I'll share these things on my YouTube channel. Stay tuned, stay blessed. Bye. Ciao.